Hello, everybody. I'm Kristen. And I'm Rachel. And this is So I'm Watching Shadow and Bone, Season 2, Episode 5. I assume Yuya Sesh, mm -hmm. despise your heart. Apologies if that is a real language and I biffed it. God, these episodes are so packed. <laughs> okay, so... Mal is back. Mal is... <laughs> Mal was back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he is... He... Like, escaped, I guess? Yeah. I there wasn't enough time to, like, actually pull together a court-martial. No. And I... When they took him, in my mind, I was like, that's cute that you think you'll keep him. A hundred percent. He'll be right back. Yeah. Yeah. So he found his way into the, like, these catacombs where they're, like, sheltering right now. Um, and... But it was, like, while Alina was trying to, like, connect with Kirigan so that she could try to get rid of the connection. Mm -hmm. It was smart, but I thought she came on a little strong. Like, just, just to immediately be parroting back all of the stuff that he said to her. I was like, come on. Mm -hmm. um, She's kind of bad at this. Well, okay. Yes, but it's not really her fault. Right. No, and I, yeah. I don't, I'm not like, oh my god, I hate her because she's bad at this. Yeah. It's more or less like, give it a second before yeah. you, like, go, like, full titties forward on trying to get this shit done because yeah. it doesn't work no. out. Although I do think it might have if Mal had not interrupted her. True. And so she yells at him, but like in front of people and he gets big mad about it. Um, and so he's like, I'll find you the firebird. That's all I'm good for anyway. Mm -hmm. And just kind of like leaves. Um, I love her relationship with Nikolai. Me too. It's so cute. Mm -hmm. So cute. And so he is, she's leaving to go to, like, she's going to go with Mal and Bagra, apparently, to go find the Firebird. And he has to, like, actually start rebuilding and stuff. So they are parting ways. She gave him back his ring, but then he gave her his lucky compass, mm -hmm. which is sweet. Yep. Jenya and David finally reunited. <sighs> I'm so happy. It was darling. That. Yeah. Because she's, she doesn't, she's disfigured. One of her eyes is like kind of milky. Yeah. So she's got all the scars on her face and she's like very uncomfortable. And so she keeps on running away from him, but he finally like corners her in a supply chamber. Um, and it was just really sweet though. Like he was like, I don't know much about whatever, but I know about metal. And she's like, what the, f what does that have to do with anything? And he was like, you are the metal, but like, your beauty is your armor and it actually doesn't matter. And mm -hmm. it's like, you're not weak and it's not about that. And so then they kissed and they made up. I know. I liked it so much. She's going through it. She really is. They were trying to have her arrested yeah. because she well, was the one that poisoned the king. Nikolai did it first. Yeah. And Alina was like, the fuck not. Mm -hmm. I don't know what you think you're doing. Um, And he was, she was like, you know, we actually, we didn't still, like, say the word, but the implication is, couldn't be clearer, the king was just forcing himself yep. on her. And so, Nikolai didn't know that, so he was like, obviously, you will not be arrested. Like, you're cool, you're under my protection, it's fine. But then the queen sees her later, and is like, you devious bitch. Mm -hmm. And she's like, okay, the way that she poisoned him. Incredible. I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, really? It's not yeah. like that in the book? Well, I don't know if I got oh. that far. She was covering herself in the poison. So every time the king touched her, he was poisoning himself. So incredible. Incredible. So amazing. So fantastic. It does have very big Elena Tyrell energy. Like, mm -hmm. I want you to tell Cersei <laughs> that it was me. Yeah. <laughs> Super fantastic. So, and then Nikolai is also trying to get the queen to go hide in like a convent or mm -hmm. whatever. That seems like the smart move. Yeah. Yeah. She doesn't need to be there. And I think the the queen or the king is officially dead. I think he died in the yeah, attack. Yeah, because he, yeah, he got picked up by one of the shadow monsters. Okay. And mm -hmm. she called herself the queen mother. Yeah. So I was like, oh, we're like, and, and Nikolai is going to be coronated. So mm -hmm. I was like, oh, okay, cool. Pekka Rollins arrived at prison and immediately took over. Yep. So we are hard not done with him. He killed Matthias's cellmate. And I don't know what where we're gonna go with that yeah i don't know he doesn't seem to want to be on pekka's side but it it does sort of feel like a you're on his side or you're against him type of vibe yeah 
I mean, I still think that just because of who Matthias is, he's still going to want to fight it. But like a quiet fighting against it. I sort of wonder if he's going to do like a um like where he like pretends to mm-hmm. be just to like benefit and like get out because at some point they're going to escape or something. Right. Yeah. And then again, back to the six of crows. <laughs> Okay, baby Wyland can't read. No, can't. Okay, just adorable. I know. He did l- almost let slip that he had a tutor mm-hmm. at one point, but he really tried to cover his tracks with that. So yeah. I- I'm curious about that. Uh-huh. So they are basically, they're in somewhere shoe, right? I don't remember what the place was called. Uh... It is. It is in Shuhan. I just don't remember what the city was called. So they're there trying to get the sword, and there's a woman who runs a tea shop. Um, Everyone's very excited about that. Tolia and Nina are sharing all their food (laughs) with each other. They both seem obsessed with it. It's adorable. Um, And so they have to go to this tea shop and order specific tea as, like, a code for this woman to come. Kaz is bad at this. Yep. I like him so much, but, like, because he doesn't have faith, which is, like, one of the big sticking points between him and Inej, you would think that he'd be able to do these rituals without them meaning anything. Mm-hmm. But he deliberately doesn't do the tea thing that they do. It's, like, I mean, sort of a sign of the cross, but it's, like, a blessing kind of thing with yeah. the tea. He doesn't do that until he's forced to. Which also then sends him into a tailspin. Like, what is with the gloves? I don't know. I can't. I can't figure it I out. I can't make heads or tails. The fact that he keeps flashing back to when he touches the belly of the dead person next to him. Yeah. And so, is it that that was so fucking gross that now, it, like, anything he touches, all he can touch is the dead skin belly thing? I don't know. I think he has a, some kind of power. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Every time I think I, I got it, I don't got it. Because he also keeps having, like, panic attacks. Yeah, to the point know. where, like, Inej followed him instead of, like, finishing her task. Because she was like, I couldn't leave you like that. Mm-hmm. And brought him his gloves. And brought him his gloves back. I'm very curious. I'm very interested. Because also I thought maybe his hands were, like, there was something wrong with them. Like, mm-hmm. you could tell he had the pox or something. But his hands are just nice. He just yep. has, like, nice, good hands. So, I don't really know. But I am interested and he and then at the very end he flashed back or well he like had a vision kind of of his brother that was like you didn't think i'd forget about you or something Mm -hmm. and was drowning him yeah so i'm is jordy haunting him and if so why i don't know i I have have so many questions many questions um but yeah so they're essentially trying to break into this woman's house um nina and zoya are supposed to trail her but she catches Wise, and she gets Nina, and she chokes her out. The whole time while they were trying to do this heist, I was like, this is adorable that they think that they yeah. can get one over on this woman. There's no way. <laughs> Not at all. No way at all. And so then um, Jesper, Kaz, Inej, and Tolia are in the house, and some sort of chemical agent starts spilling from... They, like, get trapped, and some sort of chemical agent starts spilling in. That's when Kaz has the, that last vision because he like falls backwards. Um, yeah, and then so like, <laughs> Wylan is like annoyed at Jesper for like he thinks he's patronizing him, and I can't express how hard he's not patronizing right. him. But when you are embarrassed, I mean, anytime anyone try yeah. you know tries to make it better, it's just like we were just patronizing me. Yeah, because he's like you're you're just so smart. Like I wouldn't have expected that you couldn't read because you're so smart. And he's like, stop telling me I'm so smart. And it's like, but you are mm-hmm. so smart. Well, and then Wylan comes back at Jesper. Yeah. And he was like, what did he call him? Something with a D. It's like a... Uh, well, on. he's Grisha. A Durast. Yes. Which is also something about the, like, the place they're trapped in was built. By duress, the like framing oh, is metal. Yeah, that's how he fixed the piano wire and how he shoots right. straight and everything. Right. So yeah, he was like, Wylan was like, that's rich. All of this stuff is rich coming from you. You hide the most important part of yourself. Like that's a gift. And he said it's a curse, and you don't know what it's cost me. Mm-hmm. So now they're mad at each other. I did like that. As a deflection, Wylan kept being like, Tolia, would you like to go shopping? <laughs> yeah. 
adorable precious love it and Dahlia's like dude what did you do and Jesper's like I don't know he was like I said something stupid but like I didn't I I don't know I I don't know it's just like it so much yeah that is I think that's everything mostly it for this episode it like it was dense but it wasn't that bad oh um Jenya fixed uh Adric I think we decided his Mm -hmm. arm well they took it off. Well, they took it off, but she, like, healed the rest of it, and uh, he was like, do you think I'll still be able to, like, cast or whatever? And she was like, well, you're still a Grisha, so maybe. Mm-hmm. Which is good to know. Yeah. But that does just make me feel like they shouldn't have to touch hands to do it again. <laughs> well, but also part of me kind of feels like she's just like, you'll always be a Grisha. Well, okay. In your fair. heart. <laughs> In your heart. <laughs> type of thing. Symbolically. Yeah. But yeah, everything else is, like, Moving along pretty forward, we're about to split up again. I kind of hope we, like, still follow Nikolai. Yeah. What are there, three episodes left? So it's, like, it's possible we might not see him again this season. Or, since we are ripping through plot and time, we might catch back up with him. Yeah. In the finale. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping for. So, we shall see. Everyone's on their little uh, journeys, and I'm excited. Me too. Yeah. Oh, um, oh, I said Bagra. Yes. Did they arrive in this episode? They got there in this episode. Yes. With the smoke down through the... Yes. Yeah, and actually, that's a, that's one that we should touch on, is the Bagger and Alina scene, where she was mm-hmm. like, explain, you need to explain this connection that you have to Alexander, and she was like, I just feel like he's the first person that ever knew, like, saying all the things that he said. He's the first person that ever knew I was special, or could, like, do all this stuff, or that I was, like, meant for more, or whatever, and Bagger was like, cool, maybe, but, like, you were always going to be those yeah. things and, anyway. He and was he's just also, the first one to voice it. He's not the only one. Right. He was just the first one. Right. So Alina needs some kicks in the pants like that. Yeah. Sometimes. So Zoya was also kind of a bitch to Nina. I just she was like Zoya, I guess. Mm. Your Driskele boyfriend. Like, cute. Mm-hmm. Forget it. Yeah. <laughs> Forget about Get it. Get over it. Yeah. And it's like, okay. We also got the new location, the Shuhan location. Mm-hmm. The set designing on the show is fantastic. So great. I love all the different like cultural things that we're doing with everything. Like they like half of them are like praying when they first arrive in the harbor. It's just fantastic. I love it. Me too. We're gonna go watch the next episode. Yeah. Bye. Bye.